a female shark meets a male shark sparks fly and they make babies sounds like a happy family shark tale apparently that is not how one female zebra shark named leonie feels who decided to go the family way on its own now let me explain sharks are capable of two types of reproduction sexual and asexual but what is a bit unusual is for a female shark to have engaged in sexual reproduction in the past and then suddenly turning asexual and going it alone for reproduction in the later years but this is exactly what happened in an aquarium in australia a female zebra shark by the name leonie had a few baby sharks after mating with a male zebra shark the two sharks were breeding partners for 6 years or so when they were separated by the aquarium staff because they were producing way too many of these baby sharks so in the year 2013 the male shark was moved to another tank leaving leoni all alone in its tank so it came as a shock to the aquarium staff when leoni laid several eggs in the year 2014 although none of them hatched however the very next year in 2015 leoni laid eggs again and this time three of them hatched into baby sharks this process of embryos growing and developing without fertilization is called parthenogenesis but these kinds of virgin births normally happen in plants and invertebrate animals although we also have some recorded instances of vertebrates like sharks or lizards reproducing asexually what is rare however is for a female shark to have reproduced with a male shark and then later switching to asexual reproduction so is this a good thing or a bad thing zebra sharks are listed under threatened species So if female sharks have the ability to switch to asexual reproduction to prolong her lineage it would be considered quite an evolutionary strategy secondly shark mating can be quite traumatic for the female sharks male sharks indicate interest in female sharks by aggressively biting the pectoral fins of the female shark so if zebra sharks are breeding asexually then it could also be to avoid the painful mating process there is also a problem with this kind of asexual breeding and that is a lack of genetic diversity leonis pups have only the genes of their mother shark and the question is will that affect the breeding abilities of these baby sharks in the future only time will tell the answer to that question meanwhile let's applaud mother nature and leoni for proving that in the future females may not need the males even for breeding on that note i will take leave of you please like and share the video do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so i will see you soon in another video until then thanks for watching